that's it. But yeah, he's very hated, but it's here. And today, 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 we are going to have actually a tutorial. A tutorial on reaching uh, rank 10. So right now, so we are actually at rank 9. So I'll be showing you the possible lineup that might, or the possible layout that might help you on reaching rank 10. So we have here, so we have the crystal spire for the defense and at the same time offensive type i mean when you just have to you know remember of the tempo i mean let your opponents reach your base of course when that and when your opponents reach your base then uh this crystal spire would probably help you guys and uh, that is actually kind of good i mean that is actually kind of good defense especially for bomb bots and then at the same time for many types of you know um, multiple shield bearers or the uh, bone or hammer throwers rather so the hammer throwers so th this is actually a good one in terms of defending them and of course the uh, samurai if i'm not mistaken these are actually the arcane blades but i call this one the samurai but yeah so this will probably help you in in reaching that goal i mean in in the offensive type or the defensive rather the defense is the best offense just remember that and then we also have of course the uh another one this one the barrier mock which is actually kind of good as well in terms of the defense and uh, sustaining the archers we all know that archers and all long range units here are very very weak i mean they're not weak but their health is not that as huge as the normal um units here they have the lowest hp bar so a barrier monk is actually a good defense for them at the same time it is actually a good uh, defensive uh, unit for the uh, for long range type or uh, what to call that high arc high arc type unit or a high arc shooting type unit like the catapult right here and aside from that we also have the uh, of course the common we have the arcane blade i mean or arcane blade so they actually sustain the damage no i mean it's it's you know it they are somehow not that tough but they give a lot of damage that is unnoticeable so that is actually good as well and we have here another addition is we have the plaque bearers so instead of the plaque throwers which is somehow expensive in terms of points i use the plaque bearers as a substitute for that i mean having one point or uh, yeah having one only one point in the overall point is actually pretty helpful and having 10 units to attack your opponent and giving them virus that is really really good and you know you can actually still have you know i mean replacing this one the back doors with the back where it's kind of good in my favor so we also have here the hammer throwers so um it gives damage you no know, it really gives huge amount of damage especially to to tough opponents or tough units like the uh brute and the where is that where is that this one the earth elemental and the untamed beast and other mythic three type of or mythic type of units so they really really reduce the what they call that the hp bars of those kinds of units and of course to sustain them you should have some protectors like the shield better so we have two sets of shield betters in order to protect them and we also have a brute uh unit here at the top part of our map right here to protect the uh, plaque bearers so they act, or plaque bearers rather they really really give sustain as well and at the same time the knock up effect is really really helpful in terms of you know uh penetrating the internal uh defense of your opponent especially disrupting the barrier monk that is actually a pretty good thing so i hope guys that this one helped you guys in terms of a building and of course lastly we also before i forgot we have the frost wizard so i think the frost wizard is really helpful in terms of freezing the opponents that is actually kind of good because when it hits multiple targets um and combined with the brute knockoff effect um the damage is going to be terrifying and you'll be able to penetrate the base 
and attack them follow up with the attack of the archers so yeah so this is going to be deadly for for most of us right here or uh, for your opponents rather so yeah guys i think that's it and this is probably the lineup that might bring you to rank 10 so there is some there are some counters for this lineup i mean you just have to have a ninja so a very high level ninja it, it will probably where's the ninja right here that's kind of the ninja or the assassins so these are the assassins rather so they really assassinate i mean their assass assassinating capabilities is really high in terms of killing the barrier monk and the uh, frost wizard when they are placed on the right position this layout right here might really get ruined so but aside from the ninjas if your opponent does not have a ninja on their layout you'll have a good time on penetrating them it just depends on the level of course of your opponent if the level of your opponent is kind of higher compared to your level i think you'll be having a hard time but uh, if your level is from five to eight or higher I think you'll be having a good time and I think most of your uh, one more thing if most of your units right here has a level 7 level 6 type of levels yeah I mean I think you'll have a good time and uh, yeah so I hope that I help you guys so this is actually my lineup and or layout rather and my lineup as well and yeah as always I'm right up listen just remember Freddy loves you and I hope that you guys learned something